back with another video. Um, as you may know, I'm working on my commercial rating and I'm uh, just fine tuning a couple of the last maneuvers. So today I thought I'd go up by myself and work on the, the, the ones, the three that I've been having an issue with. Um, it's of course the power off 180, uh, steep turns, and then uh, lazy eights. We'll start with lazy eights. Um, I just want to get that one down a little bit. There's a couple of precision points as they're called. I want to just kind of get those a little more embedded in my my head. I had a little trouble with it the other day. So uh, join me and uh, let's see what happens here. I found that uh, I find that when I go up and fly solo, I, I'm able to uh, get improvements that I don't maybe I might not get with an instructor. So I've done this before and it's been proven to be useful if you're a commercial pilot or a private pilot. I encourage you to, when you feel comfortable, go up, fly solo, and you'll be amazed at uh, how things, um, how you learn things slightly differently because it's kind of all in your hands at that point. Hop on board and uh, let's go up and have some fun. Columbia 6512 Romeo, departing runway 20, will be a left crosswind departure, Watsonville. Our final. has the 45 traffic in, Watsonville traffic system 5347 Hotel has the 45 traffic in sight. We will follow you down the downwind for 20, Watsonville. Watsonville traffic, Columbia 6512 Romeo on the roll, 20 left crosswind, departure Watsonville. Okay, power set, gauges in the green. Let's rotate right about there, 70. are coming up, boost pumps off, 25-25 on the power and the propeller. Wattsville traffic, Columbia 6512 Romeo, turning left crosswind 20, departing the area to the east, Watsonville. Okay, there's 25-25 and nine, about 19 inches, uh, 19 gallons per hour. So it looks like I have some climbing traffic here off my, at about my 11 o'clock. I'll just stay here until I get them in, in sight. Then turn behind them, or at least until I see them. There he is. No factor. Okay, winds, looks like we've got a tailwind about 21 knots. I'm going to level off at 4,000 and then go over to the practice area, which is about, uh, I don't know, five miles in front of me. Okay, so I'm going to um, go to 2350. Set power right about 20 for now, 22. And then I'm going to lean back to about 13. Top of climb checklist is uh, mixture prop, landing lights, and check the takeoff flaps. Got it memorized. Right now I'm focused on my airspeed and my altitude. I think I'll start with a steep turn. 
Uh, again, we want to keep the steep turn. We're going to target 4,000 feet. We want to be between 39 and 41. Before I start the steep turn, I'm going to do a clearing turn. So I'm going to clear to the right by making a 90 degree turn. I'm going to use those those mountains over there that where that beige hillside is. I'm going to back that up with the bug. That's a 090 heading. Looks like I just jumped up 100 feet, so let me get down to 4,000. I want to check 150. That's the spec for doing a steep turn. Uh, it's it's posted here. It's also for lazy eight, so let's just get down to 400, 4,000. So we have that as a reference point. And then I'll start, there's 4,000. There's our entry speed, so I'll go in three, two, one, and go. And it's going to be outside. So there's the bank angle. I pitched up, so let me just fix that. More bank. Let the nose come down a little bit. We're a little high. There's 50. Keeping my eyes on the horizon and the altitude. Just letting it come around. There's 4,020, 50 degrees. A little more back pressure. Power bank. And there we're going to roll out and do it to the other side. This is going to take a little more right okay, rudder. Ambulance turning back, uh, final runway 24, Hollister. There's 4,000. About 45, we need a little more bank, a little more back pressure, a little more right rudder. 4,020, 50 degrees. Four thousand. Just gonna hold it there. A little more back pressure. We're falling. Oh, we just busted our altitude. Shit. Damn it. Okay, and we're gonna roll out there at thirty-nine twenty. So we busted our altitude for about two seconds. And I think I'm getting a false reading on my uh, ADSB. I think it's reading me twice or something. Let me just get that cleared up. That's <laughs> I've got somebody right at my location. I don't know if you can see that. Anyway, I think that was a false positive, as we say in the chemistry laboratory. Anyway, I'm going to start that again. I didn't get accurate readings here for some reason on the breadcrumbs. So I'm going to make a clearing turn to the right. Nobody over the hills. And we're looking for 150. I'm going to add power. About 22 inches we're looking for on the power setting. That'll bring us up to 150. And we're at 4,020. There's 150. We'll go right now. Three. Two, one, and ro and bank. I want to say rotate. Okay, so there's our 50 okay. degrees, 4,020. 4,000. Just hold it right here. I'm outside. I'm on the altitude. We're nice and level. A little more back pressure. 50 degrees. A little more back pressure. Air traffic, November 232, top wind on the right, here is 10.4 to the north. I'm going to add our. We'll roll out the, uh, right there on our spot. Uh, left. I just want to check traffic real quick. We're okay. We're climbing. Natural traffic. We're going to arrest that, rest that climb. Out, uh, from the airport on the 45 runway, one and nine, then get that 50 degree bank with a little more right rudder, a little more right bank. 
A little high, then we just pitch down. A little more bank. There's 50, there's 39, a little high, a little low I mean, so I'm going to bring that up again, correct it. And I'm just not doing enough back pressure there. That's roll out right there, 3,900, and we're, uh, we're about 40 feet off. Okay, well that's, I was out of spec there for another few seconds, I'm going to have to watch that. Okay, so the goal of the Lazy 8 is to make a 180 degree course reversal with a bank. We're going to have maximum pitch at the 45, maximum pitch up, maximum pitch down at the 135. We're going to set up two reference points. We're going to do it here in a minute, um, just giving you the basics of that. I'm going to do a clearing turn, check for traffic, stabilize my altitude, switch my fuel tank. Capture, recapture my altitude, take a drink of water. Anyway, I'm really trying to think about making the airplane do what I want. I think that's the key. One of my instructors told me that a long time ago. Just make the airplane do what you want. We want to have, uh, there's 150, I'm going to go up to 4,000, use that as my reference. So when we go up and we roll through it, we want to return to 4,000, and then I'm going to pick a, ref, a, a 45 and a 135 reference point, as well as a 90. But I'm going to get past this big uh, Fremont's Peak here, just so I'm not so close to the mountains. Because my AGL over there is, I don't know, a couple hundred feet maybe. So we'll just go into the valley here. Okay, our reference points are going to be uh, just just to the right of the Moss Landing. About 300, 300 degrees on the, on the nose. Our 90 will be Salinas, and our 135 will be Fremont Speed. I'm just gonna clear the area really quick. Clear to the right. Okay, clear left. Let me bring us back into position. Okay, we booked 300. We need a little more power. Citation three off the limit request. Clear left, clear to the right. And I'm just gonna let it come up. Natural banking tendency. There's our 45. Go for Jet West. Hollister traffic baron, 18 kilos, about two miles north of the field, northeast bound, 2,000 climbing. Hollister. Okay, there's our halfway point. Now we need to start coming down. Hollister traffic, Cox 6 on X ray is on the left base for runway 24, Hollister. And we're coming up on our 135. So maximum pitch down. And we're hoping to capture. 4,000, right about there. So that's pretty good, that 40-40 and then uh, right on the money on the heading. We could do it again to the right. Not available. With a little more right pedal. Please jet west, I teach three up. We'll use the same we'll reference points. Here in about five minutes, request jet fuel and one bag of ice. Okay, there's our 135 or 45 in this case. That's the max pitch up. We're just going to let the jet plane west, keep that coming is down. A jet truck, one bag of ice, and you're going to be here in five minutes. Okay, here's our 90. This is maximum altitude, and we're going to start coming down now. And let the Turning tendency, continue to take us around. Holister traffic, Cox 69 X ray is on final one way 24, Holister. And we need a little more down.
A little less. I'm gonna bring that. Get a... Traffic not available. So there we are, 3980, and we're back at 300. Well, 290. Where we started. So those are both within standard, so I'm gonna leave it there. And let's go back to Watsonville and practice some 180s. Metro traffic, Cessna 730 Alpha Kilo, exiting at Delta. Okay, so she's done. We're at 125 and 1240, that looks good. And let's turn left downwind. Watsonville traffic, Columbia 6512 Romeo, left downwind, 20. We'll be uh, making a tight end landing on 20. Touch and go, Watsonville. Yeah, let's slow down a little bit. We want 1200, 125. Right about there. Immediately do first notch of flaps. Pitch for best glide, which would be 102. And then 95 when we get uh, full flaps in. There's 106. Now I'm gonna go for the, uh, after the thousand foot markers. Uh, my aiming point is going to be between the 2-0 and the 1,000-foot markers. We're a little high. Otherwise, we look pretty good. Power's back to idle. A little high. Full flaps. Under two knots. Okay, now I can get my aiming point in. Right about there, and then we're going to have a get into ground effect and do a little float. Which we're anticipating. And we're going to go around, turn that, try that again. Watsonville traffic, Columbia 6512 Romeo on the go, on the go, 20 remaining in the traffic pattern, Watsonville. Now there's 1,200, stop the climb, power back, 1,220, Watsonville traffic, Columbia 6512 Romeo, left down one two zero. be another touch and go, Watsonville. There's 1,200, 130, and cut power, Both first notch of flaps. Pitch okay, we're well, 95 entry. We're going to plan to fly down the shoreline here until we get to the mouth of the River. We're going to then fly to the river and the bridge, and then we're going to enter on the 45 for 2 If you want to go ahead of us, feel free. Okay, Roger that. Uh, we'll uh, probably go ahead and uh, uh, fix air popper for Watsonville traffic. Thank you. Just please advise. Watsonville traffic, Columbia 6512. Romeo is turning uh, base to final for 2 0. Touch and go, Watsonville. Okay, same as before. Coming in a little high, let's get the flaps in. We're a little fast. Now I can set up for my landing point. There's 100. Now we're on glide path. Again, my touchdown point's gonna be somewhere past the thousand foot markers after we float. Right there. Watsonville traffic, Columbia 6512 Romeo on the roll. 2-0 remain in the pattern, Watsonville. And Columbia 6512 Romeo is uh, upwind 2-0. We have the uh, two planes in sight. We'll extend our upwind for spacing, Watsonville. Okay, Columbia remaining in the pattern. Affirm. First notch of flaps, so I'm gonna have to, I started a little low there. Columbia, you can tuck in tight behind us if you want. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if it's going to work out. I'm going to extend, actually. Uh, if you... I'll try to expedite. Watsonville traffic, Columbia 6512 Romeo is extending the uh, left downwind 20 for spacing Watsonville. Sorry about that, sure, appreciate the help, though. Watsonville traffic, Columbia 6512 Romeo, left base 20. Uh, I got two planes in the pattern, it's not going to really work out. Just do a normal landing. A little high. Flaps going to final. Same procedure though, let's see if I can make it happen. Watsonville traffic, Columbia 6512 Romeo, short final 20. Full stop, Watsonville. 95 actually clear, the active Watsonville. Let's get a little float going here.